So we're in Seattle, Washington with the Outsider Interviews, and we're speaking with Audrey, Matt, Chandra, and Charlie about their views and their perceptions on Christianity Today. Just so that people can get a feel for who you are and what you're doing here, Audrey, let's start with you. Uh, give us a little biography on yourself. Where do you work? What do you do? I am 25. I work for a nonprofit based in South Seattle with an environmental focus. Originally from Phoenix, Arizona, and I've lived in Seattle since November 2006. What's your experience with Christianity, religion, any of the above? Um, I, up until about six months ago, I would have called myself an atheist, and now I'm not certain about anything. I'm not really an aggressive atheist. I'm not really so sure about anything, and I think that either side scares me when they when they're really sure and start labeling the other group and associating all these other things. Within the last year, I've sort of been exposed to some different ideas and I've met a few people who okay. either call themselves evangelicals or right. would have called themselves evangelicals. And okay. my experience with them has been completely different than what I thought it would have been. Okay. Matt, what are you up to? I'm 23 years old, live here in Seattle. I work for a small nonprofit in Ballard that uh, the easiest way to describe it is I'm like a local missionary to youth. What's your experience with Christianity and religion? Well, I grew up in a wonderful Christian family uh, in Texas. Uh, very supportive, very loving, but they didn't force their beliefs on me, which I'm very grateful for. I was able to develop them for myself. And uh, it wasn't until my sophomore year of high school I met a youth pastor in the area who kind of introduced uh, the idea of of Christianity and of Jesus to me in a way that I'd never really seen it before. So you would have called yourself a Christian, but it sounds like you're describing something much deeper happened to you through this relationship with this guy. Uh, yeah, 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 okay. definitely. Right. I would describe myself as a Christian, but I don't really like to. I think the word Christian has a lot of really negative connotations in our culture and our society that I don't really agree with and that I want to hope to change. Chandra, tell us about yourself. Uh, I am 25 years old, and I am currently unemployed. Uh, before I was unemployed, I was an administrative assistant at my church. I was raised with a Christian mother who made sure that we attended church weekly um, and that we were serving at a young age. At the same time, uh, my father was not attending church with us. He's actually had several addictions throughout my lifetime. Um, the most prevalent one was a substance abuse problem. So on the one hand, I had this Christian mother who was raising us to go to church and all this other stuff. And on the other hand, I had an abusive father who had many different addictions and was not a Christian whatsoever. As a teenager, I had a very bitter taste in my mouth about Christianity. Um, everybody that I opened up to, whether it was a student or my youth pastor, um, either didn't care or they didn't know how to deal with it. At 18, when I became an adult, I um, decided that I was done with church. I walked away from church and my faith completely for about a year. And um, during that time, I wrestled with um, trying to come to grips with what I had grown up knowing about God and Christianity with what I actually felt my actual experience with it was. And at the end of that, I realized that my problems were not with my actual faith and were not with my belief in God. It was a failure of churches not knowing how to deal with the particular life circumstances that I had. Charlie, tell us how, who roped you into being at this interview. Oh, so but I was introduced to Jim through uh, my kind of landlord, uh, Steve Lewis. He runs a place called the Purple Door right across the street from the University of Washington campus. It's uh, an intentional Christian community, which people that know me, when I say that, kind of do a double take because I'm, I'm an agnostic, meaning I just, I don't believe, I don't believe and I don't think I can know one way or the other. Now, are you a student at the University of Washington? I am. I'm a, a senior. I, I gotta say, I feel really unaccomplished compared to all these guys. But <laughs> Just drive forward, Charlie. Uh, I'm, so I'm studying for a, uh, a Bachelor's of Science in Computer Networking right now. And uh, once I get that, I'll finish that this year, I hope to uh, leave, kind of drop out of American culture for a while and go do uh, aid work overseas, hopefully in either Africa or Southeast Asia. Okay. 